Hey, how are you doing? Hope, hope you are well. So in this video, I'll take you through a very important uh, lesson on how to edit videos. Sometimes uh, when you are editing the videos, you find that you have so many pauses or some hesitations that you might want to remove. Sometimes you might be recording and something escapes your mind and you want to remove the pauses. In this video, I'm trying to pause intentionally so that I can use the tools that I'm going to take you through uh, editing the video. I'm posting intentionally, so bear with me. So in this video, I'll use a tool called Auto Editor that actually edits the video videos for me, making sure that I do not have to go through the hassle of removing all the poses. So I'll show you on the screen what I'm going to do. And the process is simple. So you just bear with me. I'll edit this video that I just recorded. And it's going to be very easy for me. I don't have to go through a lot of hassle trying to edit the video myself. If I have the tools in Python, why not? Well, to edit this video, it's very easy. First, make sure that you have the video saved in your working directory, as I have done. So this is my working directory, Python YouTube editing tutorial folder. And uh, if we look at the details and click that, we see that it's saved there and it's one minute and uh, 44 seconds. So, and then the next thing to do is we need this uh, Python code to do that. So I'll go ahead and open that in Visual Studio. So after opening that in Visual Studio, as you can see, it's a very small piece of uh, program, very few lines of code. So the first thing that we need here is to have the sub process, uh, import that, and then we define the base command, which is auto editor. This is actually a library that you can install in Python. And to do that, it's very simple. Just come here and use the pip command, pip install auto editor, and just hit uh, enter. Mine says requirement already satisfied because I've already installed it. But that's, the, that's basically the process of installing it. So once you have installed it, come back to our program here, define your base command. After defining your base command, then you need to specify the path to your working video. And we see it's saved in the same uh, directory there. And then let us specify this command. The command basically takes the base command, which is auto editor, and the video file, which is basically the path to our video. And then after you specify that, use a hyphen hyphen, then edit audio, specify the threshold to be 0.5%, depending on the amplitude, basically the highest volume in your video. And here we assume that the maximum volume in your video is 100%. So this editor, what does make sure uh, it just assumes that anything below 0.5% is silence, meaning that that's, that would be a uh, chop off from the video. This can be any percent. You can say maybe there's some background noise and you just want to remove that. So you can say maybe up to 3%, but make sure that don't put it so low or don't put it so high. It might actually chop off some of your low, low amplitude um, or low volume speech or audio. So after I specify that, so for me, I prefer 0.5 because I have a good uh, microphone, which doesn't take the background noises. So, but be considerate of that. And then we want to rat, run that command. Basically, we call uh, the sub process that we imported and then use a run function, pass command as a 
is an argument and we say shell is equal to true meaning that is going to use shell shell is basically like a command prompt and then we say check equal true after the video uh, has been processed we need to print out uh, a success command basically saying command executed successfully and returns the path to that video that has been processed and then in case there's an error the exception will be caught and uh, this this uh, statement will be printed basically it will say command executed uh, execution failed the path to the video that we are trying to process and then with an error code this this uh, piece of code here will return the number a number maybe one then after that our program is ready to run make sure that it's saved and then to run the program we hit on the top right corner we hit on uh, the run button once you click on it start processing the video and as you can see here uh, there's a progress bar that's being shown currently at uh, seven percent uh, takes a bit of time depending on the size of your video and we saw that it's uh, my video is just one point uh, one minute 44 seconds which is not that big so it's not gonna take so so long and uh, maybe you can take this uh, this time to at least subscribe to my channel subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up uh, and in case you would like to learn more more about python which is a very powerful programming language so make sure to watch the rest of my videos we see it's at 93 percent so we have to give it a bit of uh, time as you can see there's a, a video that has just popped up here and that's what the auto editor does once once it finishes processing the video it shows uh it previews the the video or just play it uh, automatically and it's automatically saved with an extension of underscore altered mp4 so here if you go back to our to our working directory we see that there's this video that has been um, that's being shown here and uh, looking at it if we see we look at the details we see now this one is only one minute and 18 seconds remember this one was one minute and 44 seconds meaning that the program has actually done the magic of removing all the poses uh, we can go ahead and uh, preview the, the video to take you through uh, editing the video i'm posting intentionally so bear with me so in this video i'll use a tool called auto editor that actually edits the video videos for me making sure that i do not so as you have seen uh, the video is uh, has been processed any portion that was silent has been removed so thank you for watching and that's how easy it is to process videos in python and remove all those the silent portions thank you for watching adios